people, welcome back to Politics Watch. This is Sir P. Now, it appears when the DJ exclusive said, Scammer them there, he wasn't only talking about the Moby Massive. Apparently, even in a compound, the Maroon Town, scamming is prevalent because now we're hearing that the Lumi, which is the Maroon currency, right, is actually nothing more than a giant Anansi story. It's a reality in the terms that it exists, but what it can do simply isn't matching up to the reality of the story we were told initially, right? But hey, before they jump on me, right, and start to, oh, sir, you have fight out this and that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to let you listen to it from the words or from the, the mouth of people who are actually from the community and let actual Maroons tell you. And then after that, I'm going to tell you the response of the person who is their um, governor, right? The, their version, basically their version of the Bank of um, Jamaica, so the Bank of a compound. That bank's governor, he's going to respond, right, after these people talk. And this is going to be really interesting, people. You want to hear both sides. All right, so let's listen up to the Maroon um, community residents speak. You cannot spend the Lumi down the road. Nobody in this community accepted the Lumi. And you cannot go two miles down the road and offer oh, right to anybody. They're not taking it for you. So Colonel Williams is just chatting garbage. The only persons who accept that money is persons who wanting to know what it's like. It's not for spending. Some people, persons have it as a souvenir. Not more. It, it not accepted in the country away from the few young men them you give them in bulk to sell to visitor. Nobody in this town by one. It needs to be investigated because it's a big scam. BOJ needs to step in. BOJ needs to step in. Because when, when, when I give you my Jamaican thousand dollars and you give me a Lumi, where would I need to give you a Jamaican thousand dollar to get a Lumi? Where is that Jamaican thousand dollar going? What it is for? What is for? What is it for? So you have to come and explain yourself to people, let them know what it's for. It's a whole, it's a fraud. It's a whole thing, it's a scam. So there you have it, people. Straight from the mouth of babes. Right? So this is not a case of me exaggerating nothing. This is not a me another case of me putting words in titles to, to get people to watch and because my subscribers know that's not how I work. Right? So that's clearly the people of a compound, the actual residents, right, the actual villagers, I don't know what they refer to themselves as, are saying this money is not real and it is only a souvenir. Right? It is only a gimmick. It's something to sell to people, right? Who pass through because they, they actually they actually accept tourists and they can like visit and you know like some sort of attraction. They can do that in the various maroon towns. Well, at least for a compound. I'm not sure about the others, right? So, what does this mean? How is that scam? Well, people. I don't know if you were starting to happen already, but if you turn up with your thousand Jamaican dollar. And give it to a man in exchange for this Lumi. Well, that Lumi is worth nothing at all. As in, you can't walk into a shop and buy something, right? Now, when I first heard they were coming with their own currency, I thought to myself, hmm, I wonder how they work that out with BOG and all these people. Because even though the actual physical currency, right, is just a piece of paper, right? Money is just a piece of paper, you know. Right. What it really is, its real purpose is a medium of exchange. Right? I give you this amount and you give me this in return. Right? And all it needs to really stand on its two feet is really confidence. People just need to have confidence in it. Right? And be willing to accept it. But there's also the legal side to it, which is that when you're within another country, you can just print your own thing and say, this is money now. The central bank of that country, you normally have to arrange some form of um, dealings, how are we going to work it out, right? Do you accept it? Do you recognize it? Etc. Right? Otherwise, everybody, mobile money, let us print them own currency and send cash in money, let us print them own currency, right? And everybody will have a big free for all. Right? So when I heard the Maroons got their own currency, I thought, hmm, well, okay, well, maybe things that are going behind the scenes that we didn't know about. Well, now you hear the residents saying, this is one big gimmick. But it gets even more interesting, people. 
See, the governor of the Bank of a Compound, their central bank governor, came out and addressed this when people start to say a scam thing. I'm going to let you listen to this man, people, and I'm telling you, you're going to be surprised at this man's voice. Just listen to him and I'll get back to you. Hong Kong is currently going into an election, and the community itself is, how shall we say, fragmented amongst its different constituents. So in the same way that the island of Jamaica has its fragmentation between the two prominent political parties, obviously Hong Kong has its fragmentation. And that is why up at the top of the hill, you'll find a couple of shops that are very much in favor of the Lumi, and at the bottom of the hill, you'll find shops that are not in favor of the Lumi. I never said at any point that every single shop in Hong Kong was accepting the Lumi. Now, if the voice and the accent and the twanging and the speaky spooky caught you off guard, trust me when I tell you, you are not alone. People, I had to double check, triple check, quadruple check that this was real. I thought, I actually had to look on the calendar and see if it was April 1st and if Nationwide, which is who I got this clipping from, um, Big Up Nationwide Radio. I had to double check and triple check that Nationwide wasn't running some sort of April the Fool's joke from people. Because I was like, who is that guy? That's what the boss of the Maroon Central Bank sound like? People, let's talk about image. The image of the Maroons is that they are somehow the more hardcore, pure, haven't been diluted um, Jamaicans, right? There is no way you are expecting that accent to just hear a while ago. Forget about what he's saying for a second. I know that accent catch you off guard. Because that don't sound like the Maroon, that sound like Billy Bob from Wisconsin, right? right? That's Billy Bob from the, the back part of Wisconsin as well. People, this man said a compound. <laughs> I can't believe it. Pe a compound. I was like, who is that guy? Is this real? Anyway, that's the boss of the um, a compound central bank. Or, and he's one of the top men in the Maroons. So clearly the Maroons are not as closed off and isolated as we have been told. Right? A lot of things about the Maroon story that we've been told is well straight made up. But this is another thing. See, this is the this is the power of technology. Right? In 2019, things come to the forefront that you would never imagine. Right? Because when I was young and I was hearing stories about the Maroons and the a compound people and how Chilani told Maroons and how they're like isolated from everybody and they do their own thing and they don't mix up with clearly that can't be the case where the accent they come from and Billy Bob Billy Bob talk to the people him anyway let's now look at what he actually said fun and joke aside Billy Bob is saying that the Maroons are just like every other Jamaican in the sense that they are divided all over the place. Some believe in this and some don't believe in that. Right? People up the hill will take it and people down the hill, not this and that. People, the original video I made, right? The one that them take down, that original video, I said, no one man can speak for the Maroons. Whenever we hear about the Maroons, there's always this one man who is speaking like he's speaking on the behalf of all the Maroons. In that video, I said that cannot be the case. Because the Maroons are not unified. Not now, not then. Back in the day, there were different factions of Maroons. Right? You had Trelawney Town, you had a compound, right? you had different groups of Maroons. So no one man can come out and say, us Maroons used to do this. Because that simply isn't true. That would be like saying, um, so I know in Trinidad, they eat, what they call it, they eat shark. Trinidad people talk to me. I think shark is a popular delicacy in Trinidad. It would be like somebody saying, well, us Caribbean folks, um, shark is quite normal for a diet. That would be ridiculous to say that. Because the Caribbean as a whole doesn't march to the same, um, to the beat of the same drum. People do different things over here, so people do different things over here, so. So if any one man tries to speak for the Caribbean, you know he can't be legitimate. 
right? It's the same thing. So whenever you see maroons in the papers and they're like, we did this and we believe in this. Listen, that's PR, people. That's just PR. Because the maroons are not a single unified body, right? They're not, oh, let's all gather together and work with this one person. That's not how the maroons are, right? So, Billy Bob is correct. They are divided, just like how Jamaicans have PNP and JLP and, and that side and their money and their money over and link with their money. Same thing in the Maroons, where you thought they were aliens, they're just normal people. Same division, same everything. It's like everybody else. It's just the fact that a lot of people's fantasy are getting ruined because people have this fantasy of what Maroon life was really like. We'll know we see it. Right? To the point where even fake money are run up and down by the place. Right? You heard that, that lady from the Maroons, you know, the BOJ need to get involved. I'm not saying this to the people. I'm not saying BOJ need to investigate what's going on with the Maroon money. This is a Maroon resident saying this. So nobody come jump on me, right? A Maroon resident is saying the BOJ must get involved. I mean, I thought they didn't want anything to do with the rest of Jamaica, but hey, I guess people pick and choose when they want mix with them when they know and deal with them. Right. So there you have it people. Talk to me in the comment section. Should already be lighting up. Right? Patreon squad, big up on yourself. Please like, comment and share the video. Bless.